Imagine a world where every square inch is occupied by human beings. Sounds overwhelming, doesn't it? But this is no science fiction, it's a potential reality we're steadily moving towards, a condition termed overpopulation. Overpopulation isn't just about the number of people but the balance between us and our planet's resources. It's about how we live, consume, and impact our environment. This video aims to shed light on this pressing issue, providing concrete evidence that our world is inching closer to being overpopulated. Understanding overpopulation is crucial. It's not just about space, it's about the strain we're putting on our planet's resources, the consequences for our environment, and the social implications that could disrupt our way of life. Our goal is to spark a conversation, to encourage thought and action on a global scale. So is the Earth really overpopulated? Let's delve into the facts and figures. Scene script. First, consider the rapid growth of the human population over time. Let's take a journey back in time to around 10,000 years ago. Back then, the global human population was estimated to be just 5 million. Fast forward to the dawn of the common era, and we'd grown to a substantial 200 million. Yet even at this point, we were barely scratching the surface of our potential for growth. Now, let's jump to the year 1700. By this time, the world's population had reached 600 million. That's a threefold increase in less than two millennia. But hold on to your hats, folks, because this is where things really start to take off. In just another hundred years by the start of the 1800s we had reached a billion people. Notice that? It took all of human history until 1700 to reach 600 million, but just a hundred years to almost double that. The pace of growth only continued to accelerate. By 1900 the global population had doubled again to 2 billion. And by 1960, only 60 years later, it had doubled once more to 4 billion. Today, in 2024, we stand at over 7.5 billion people. That's more than a 12-fold increase in just over 300 years. This rapid escalation, this exponential growth, is something that's never been seen before in the history of our species. And it's not showing signs of slowing down, either. Projections suggest that by the end of this century, we could be looking at a global population of over 11 billion. These are staggering numbers to contemplate. In the grand scheme of our history, we've gone from a planet with millions of humans to one teeming with billions, in what is, geologically speaking, the blink of an eye. From this, we can see that the Earth's population has grown at a staggering rate. Next, let's look at the evidence of resource depletion. When we talk about overpopulation, it's not just the sheer number of people that's the issue. It's also about how much we consume and the impact that has on our planet's resources. Take water, for example. It's a basic necessity of life. Yet the World Health Organization reports that by 2025, half of the world's population will be living in water-stressed areas. As our numbers grow, so does our thirst. Forests, too, are feeling the strain. They are the lungs of our planet, soaking up carbon dioxide and giving us oxygen. But according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, we're losing 18.7 million acres of forests annually. That's equivalent to 27 soccer fields every minute. This rapid deforestation is driven by a number of factors, including agriculture to feed our swelling populations, and logging to meet our demand for wood and paper products, and then there's the issue of our dwindling fossil fuels. These non-renewable resources like coal, oil and natural gas took millions of years to form, yet we've burned through much of them in just a couple of hundred years. The International Energy Agency estimates that at current consumption rates, we could exhaust our known oil reserves in less than 50 years. There's a common thread here. The more people there are, the more resources we need, and the faster we deplete them. It's a cycle that's not sustainable in the long run. We're consuming more than the Earth can regenerate. It's like overdrawing your bank account, except it's our planet's account we're dipping into. The reality is we're living on borrowed time. We're using up our children's inheritance, and if we don't change our ways, we're going to leave them with a depleted, damaged planet. Clearly, our consumption of resources is outpacing the Earth's ability to replenish them. The third piece of evidence is the environmental impact of overpopulation. Our beautiful planet with its lush forests, serene oceans and diverse wildlife is under immense pressure because of human overpopulation. Let's begin with pollution. As the human population continues to expand, so does the demand for goods and services. This leads to increased production, which in turn results in more waste. In fact, it's estimated that every year, we produce around 2 billion tons of waste worldwide. 
That's equivalent to five Empire State Buildings being dumped into landfills every single day. The next domino to fall is climate change. With more people comes more demand for energy, most of which is still obtained from burning fossil fuels. This results in higher carbon dioxide levels, which trap heat in the atmosphere and contribute to global warming. The past five years have been the hottest on record. And unless we take drastic measures, this trend will only continue. The loss of biodiversity is another critical issue. As the human population grows, we are encroaching more and more on natural habitats. This is leading to the extinction of species at a rate 1,000 times higher than the natural background rate. That's akin to losing an entire species every single day. In the oceans, overfishing to feed the ever-growing human population is decimating fish populations. It's estimated that if current fishing practices continue, we could see fishless oceans by the middle of this century. And let's not forget about deforestation. As we clear land for agriculture to feed our growing population, we're losing our forests at an astonishing rate. It's estimated that every minute we lose equivalent to 27 soccer fields of forest. These are just a few examples of the environmental impact of overpopulation. The consequences are far-reaching and affect every corner of our planet. The impact of overpopulation on the environment is undeniable and alarming. Lastly, let's consider the social consequences of overpopulation. The sheer magnitude of people in a densely populated area can give rise to a number of challenges. From overcrowding to inequality and conflict, the ripple effects of overpopulation touch every corner of society. Imagine the daily commute in a city that's bursting at the seams with inhabitants. Roads are choked with traffic, public transport is packed to capacity, and personal space becomes a luxury. This is the reality of overcrowding, a clear and present consequence of overpopulation. In the world's megacities, people are literally living on top of each other, and the quality of life suffers as a result. But it's not just about the physical space. Overpopulation also exacerbates social inequality. As resources become scarce, the gap between the haves and have-nots widens. A report from Oxfam International points out that the richest 1% of the world's population owns more wealth than the rest of the 99% combined. This is a stark reminder of the inequality that can be intensified by overpopulation. Moreover, overpopulation can also lead to conflict. When resources are limited and competition is high, tensions can escalate. History is replete with examples of conflicts sparked by competition over resources, from water wars in the Middle East to land disputes in Africa. The World Bank estimates that by 2050, water scarcity could affect as many as 3.5 billion people. That's nearly half of the projected global population. The social fabric of our communities is strained by overpopulation. It's not just about running out of room or resources, but also about how we relate to each other, how we distribute wealth, and how we resolve conflicts. These social consequences are not just theoretical possibilities, they are daily realities for millions of people around the world. The social consequences of overpopulation are far-reaching and profound. It's a complex issue with no easy solutions, but awareness is the first step towards positive change. So, after considering the evidence, what conclusion can we draw? We've journeyed through time, witnessing the exponential growth of our global population. This growth, while a testament to human resilience and innovation, has also led to a stark depletion of our planet's resources. From water to fossil fuels, the strain on these vital necessities is a clear indicator of overpopulation. Next we explored our environment, our shared home. The increased demands of an overpopulated Earth have resulted in significant environmental impacts. Deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and climate change are but a few of the consequences of our swelling numbers. Finally, we delved into the social consequences of overpopulation, highlighting the strain on infrastructure, increased poverty, and social inequality that are symptomatic of a world bursting at the seams. The evidence is clear, the Earth is indeed overpopulated. The question now is, what will we do about it?